Well, you know, this pregnancy is so different from the one with Coop. So different. This, this baby, just so quiet, it doesn't move. I think it senses my ambivalence to this pregnancy. Jenna, I am so sorry. Oh. oh. <laughs> they tell me there's no, no problems. I just... Uh, there's this guillotine just hanging over my head. I, I don't want Buzz to find out, but then again, he's going to find out that the worst than that, if you can believe it, is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey can never know this is his child. Oh, you don't think that Nola would tell him? Do I you? have no idea what Nola will do. I don't even know the woman. All I know is that Buzz and I were just beginning to get everything back on track. And now it's all going to be upside down again. But Nola will be thrilled. She'll be there on the sidelines with her treacly sympathy and her rotten cookies. I knew this moment would come. It's here, so uh, I could tell Buzz. No, you don't. Don't do that. Don't even think about that. Harley. That's why, Jenna, you cannot tell him about this until he gets his memory back. You don't haven't convinced that. me that this is the right way no. to go with this. No. Listen to me. Listen to me. When he gets his... When he starts to get his memory back, Everything will come back to him about Jeffrey. He'll remember how dangerous he is. He will remember how terrified of him you were. And he'll understand this position that you were placed in because he will remember how much you love him. And he will know why you had to do what you did. But if you tell him now, before he gets his memory back, he won't have any frame of reference. He won't be able to understand it. And you will be playing right into Nola's hands. So I'm supposed to back off and just be supportive and, and love him from a distance yeah. while Nola circles. <sighs> the problem is that I have been walking on eggshells and I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think I don't think I can do this for much longer. I think for him, you'll do it as long as it takes. I have to go. I'm sorry, but I have got to go meet Philip. You gonna be okay alone? Oh, of course I will be. Not alone. I got Coop. <laughs> and you know what? Don't worry about Nola. If Nola does anything, just tell me. I will take care of Nola. It's just, you know, the usual. My father doesn't know me from his neighbor's dog. <laughs> it's nothing big. Are you okay? Yeah. It's nothing. Just, would you help me with these lights? I can never untangle sure, these. Sure, that me. I can do. I love these little marshmallows. Those little marshmallows aren't for you. Those are for Lizzie. Lizzie likes marshmallows, right? Have you ever known a kid that didn't like marshmallows? No. Would you relax? We're gonna have a good time. Stop trying so hard. Yes, well, I hope so. Look, I know things are a little complicated right now. If you'd just be a little bit patient. 
I am honestly, I'm trying to be patient. Hey. Voila. Mm -hmm. See? Even the most tangled messes have a way of working out. What do you want to do with these? Um, I'll take them. God, yes. <laughs> Lizzie, anyway, I thought she was coming here with you. Um, you know what? My day got really crazy, and uh, and Beth offered to bring her over, so I just I said that that was okay. They they should be here any minute. Great, just great. 